Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Tahasina Tasneem Afra. I'm a student from BSM. I finished my A levels and I scored three A stars and one A. I would like to thank all of my teachers for the enormous helping, and it's also me. Uh, I have to be serious before the exams, so I prepared myself and buckled up for my exams. So yeah. Uh, well, it depends when it's the exam time. I study like three, four hours. But if it's like the normal class is going on, then maybe two hours I study, and the rest during the class time you have to prepare and understand things. I usually spend 30 minutes in a subject. It's my teachers, friends, and family. They always supported me, and it's also me again who told myself you have to do good and get a great job in the future. Well, I was also one of them who was addicted with social media, but you have to balance with your social life and your education. So when it comes to education, you have to be really very ser uh, serious. Uh, you have to focus a lot. You have to like be serious. That's the thing. And you have to know what you're doing. You have to tell your parents about the future and how you feel so and you have to have a proper planning so you can set up and move forward that way you can score really good and get into great universities good morning everyone my name is Saira Sabrina Akhtar I recently finished my A-levels with 4 A-stars my sources to my success would definitely be the people I surrounded myself with, the friends I chose. I think they were really motivating to me and also definitely I would say my teachers and my siblings who have already gone through A-levels and I think their advice was the one that helped me through my A-levels. I never had a proper routine because I felt like I was pressurized a lot when I had a routine. So, but usually when it wasn't exam season I studied around two hours a day but when it comes to exam season I can study the whole day sometimes I can study sometimes maybe an hour or so it depends on how long it takes for me to complete my studies I think social media is a great place if you know how to use it some people they can balance their studies along with their social life and for them social media is great but if you feel like you are lacking behind in studies due to your social media I think it's better if you take a break from it uh, my guide and inspiration, I would say, it was definitely myself. I would always see other successful people and I would think, how would I look when I was successful like them? How would my life be? And I think that was the biggest guide for me and that was what inspired me to study more and focus more on myself. I think it can help sometimes, but sometimes we do get information which are out of our syllabus, so you just have to refer to your specification and you, have to, you just need to be able to filter out the things you need and the things which are unnecessary. My biggest advice will be to believe in yourself. I think so, I feel like when students start A-levels, they're already demotivated. Uh, our seniors will always say, yes, A-levels is hard, it's next to impossible, but you have to believe in yourself and you have to know that if you give proper efforts, you can do anything. I think that will be the biggest advice I'll give them, that believe in yourself, you can do it with proper help. If you need help, just reach out for help. Whatever you need, just reach out and you will get help.